Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at Craft, specifically how Craft does I guess, backlinks, pages, and cards, which are kind of three content types that link to other internal content, um, not external content. Before we do that, I want to let you know there's a few ways to support the channel. Number one is to go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale, become a patron of the channel. Uh, number two is to go to Skillshare, where you can take one of my courses. I have one out on time blocking already. I have one on Tick Tick, how to use it to run your productive schedule. Uh, and then I have uh, another course coming up on how to get started with uh, Zettelkasten. Well, that's it. Buckle up. Let's look at the content types in Craft. So you can see here we've got a few content types. So we have our standard backlink. So in other systems you use double square bracket, but in um, craft it's actually the at symbol is really its best one. And then we can link to anything, uh, note plan three, or we can search, let's search for structural versus institutional racism. And this is just a link to a page, hit done or escape actually. And then we'd click on it and we take get taken to that page. Now, some of the other things we have is cards right here, and then sub pages. Now, when we create those, uh, either one of those, by doing at, or sorry, not at, slash card, we can create a card. It's going to bring up our card interface, and we can choose different styles, right? That's our font style, different backgrounds if we want. We have multiple different types of cards. And they'll all display different amounts of information, right? So if we do this big card, we can apply style to it. Now we have a big card, and we can say big blue card with information. That's our cards, right? And they all kind of come out the same way. You can see some of them. You can actually read it here. This one, you can read some of it. Um, this is the sub content on a different style, right? And this is a fun style, more cards. And then we also have sub pages, right? So we do those by slash um, page. I guess I call them sub pages. Technically, they're pages in here. So we'll do page. And again, this operates similar. We can put a comment here, comment on the page to explain it, I guess. And then if we click in here, uh, then we can have this is our page content. I can even say uh, to do. Just make a list. Thing, thing to. Go back, and you can see I have some uh, visualization here that something is in the page, but I don't have. Um, oh, it just gives me some summary right here as well. And this is all, you know, drag and drop. We can adjust it. And you can see I just did a comment on here as well. So we can do that by. Uh, let's two finger click, uh, right click on Mac, and we can say show comments, or we could on a new one, two finger click, add a comment. And this is just a more of a collaboration feature than anything the comments are. And I can say show comments, comment on a sub page, right? And, and I think we can even comment on, yeah, we can comment on kind of any block here. So now, why would you use these? So you won't see it in my demo database, but structural or in my demo folder here, but this structural versus institutional racism is actually a note up in my notes uh, organization area here. So it's actually a note in here uh, and that would show up. So if I did it in the demo again, let's create a, uh, let's create a, uh, another link. So at demo link done. So we've actually created this page and we won't see it in here. It'll be up in all documents, demo link, and I could put it into demo. But I don't have links, right? So for that extra page I created, uh, big blue card, I don't have those, or um, this is a sub page, right? I don't have an actual page that's visually in the database in this area. What I do have is I guess, sub pages that are hidden. So I only see them when I come in here. Now that doesn't mean if we go to another note, you can see that I've linked to them both here, right? I've linked to, and we can use, there we go, we can go into here and we can just link to them, right? So this is demo link we could link to, that's great. We could do, um, sorry, 
card. All right, links to subcards and pages. That's actually this page. We can do the uh, big, isn't that big blue card, right? And so we can link to these, and then I can go hit done and go directly to these sub pages. Um, the only difference I really see between a card and a page is its visual style. There's no real difference in what uh, it shows in your database, right? And I can adjust it later if I want to. So how would you use these? I think that's the big question. How would you use these? So what I've done so far, mostly this is because I've converted my database to craft. I didn't start in craft, is that I haven't used cards and sub pages a lot. But what I could do is if I went to books, uh, let's put list, sorry, I want books. Uh, and I went into, let's just find the right one for this, scarcity. So scarcity links out to all these other things, right? All these other notes, which are in the notes folder for me. Uh, what I could do is have these all, can I convert them to pages? Uh, I can't convert them to cards or anything. Uh, I don't think, no, I can drag it. So I could actually go in here and convert these to, oh, I have to do it manually, uh, convert these to sub pages or to cards or something so that then they didn't show up and clutter up the notes area. But the drawback to that is that if I do this, then that would mean I don't actually see them. So if I want to come in here and um, just kind of search through, oh, that's actually a book, that's not a note. Let's organize that one here. Book and search for meaning. Um, if I want to come in here and look at just the different notes I have so I can come through and say, hey, like, just let's reconnect. This is the Garnick effect. Let's remember what this is. Open tasks occupy our short term memory, and when they are done, we totally forget about them uh, according to how to take smart notes. Um, so, if we don't kind of, this says if we don't say write it down to use GTD, then we just don't have it. Um, then it'll keep occupying memory and distract us. Uh, or uh, any other one. The organized writer. The problem with building a task management system uh, is that it feels like an expense at first. And we're killing time we could do use to actually, you know, do the task. So going through here and knowing what some of my notes is, I think is crucial to being a connector instead of a collector. So if you don't go back through these and say, hey, I need to actually link some of these things and you need to be aware of some of these notes. Now something that Obsidian does, and I can't show you this because I'm on my iPad, is it has a random note uh, plugin where I can just go have a random note pop up, which is excellent. I don't have that in craft. So if I'm going to force myself to remember some of these um, some of these notes in here, then I'm going to need to come in here and actually, you know, kind of pick through. You know, say I'm going to look through ten notes. Um, right, optimism keeps us going when things are terrible. From barking up the wrong tree, location thirteen fifty eight, which is the Kindle location of it, which will actually be universal depending on any platform you're on. Um, right, and I have one link to this page, but I need to. I need to invest the time to come in here and go through my, it says 100 plus notes um, to make sure that I know what is going on here. So that's why I don't think I'm gonna be using a lot of sub pages uh, or cards um, for the data that I'm gonna be, to be building, at least in the note side of it. If I decide to do some outlining, some writing, I could see it there because then I hide them and they're not actually in uh, in my database, right in this area in my notes for me to review as much. Anyway, that's it. We're looking at craft. And so some of you may be asking, am I switching from Obsidian? And I'm going to say maybe, maybe. A craft just uh, did a good markdown importer up to 2,000 notes. I'm still under 2,000 notes, so I could import everything into craft. Um, and... So I've done that, and the big reason is that Craft has an iPad app, and Obsidian doesn't, although they say it's the next priority, but they also say it's the next priority. It will be a light app mainly for, uh, what does it say, like looking at your notes. Um, not necessarily going to get the graph features, not necessarily going to get a plugin infrastructure, not necessarily going to get the rest of it, and honestly, I think that's super lame. Um, I do most of my writing, most of my research on my iPad. I do a lot of my coding on my iPad, so having a system like Obsidian, which I, I uh, there's so many things to love about Obsidian. The fact that you um, truly own your data in Markdown files, which Craft is actually going to do with Craft Connect eventually, not not Markdown, but you will be able to choose where to sync your Craft data. Um, 
So you could go uh, end-to-end encryption uh, by doing something, I don't know, say an iCloud, whether that's really end-to-end encryption, who knows, but, um, or Dropbox, you could store it in different spots for yourself. So that's coming, which is good. Um, I think that we have a lot, we have a way better app in Craft than OneWriter is for Obsidian, um, which is, I think is the best one than GitJournal is for Obsidian. And the promised Obsidian mobile app does not sound like the app I want because I want to, I just want the whole app. I want the whole thing in there. That's where it should be so that I can actually really do my work. That's it. If you liked the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, you can subscribe, hit the bell, and maybe YouTube will let you know something happened, but I don't even know if that will happen. Uh, other ways to support the channel is to go to uh, patreon.com slash Curtis McHale, where you can become a patron and support the channel, or to go to uh, Skillshare at curtismichael.ca slash Skillshare. You can take my current course on time blocking, my current course on Tick Tick, and watch my upcoming course on how to um, use Zettelkasten. So getting getting started with Zettelkasten, I think, will be the title of it. Outline's done. I'll be doing some research Friday. Hopefully I'll have it up by the first week of February. So you should, already, this, it, hopefully it'll already be up by the time you even watch this, because this goes up in the first week of February, I think. Have a good one.